Because Intelligence Systems has finished up previewing all students from each house the other day with their personal skills explained, I thought now would be the best time to talk about each student for each house and explain my own impressions on them. At the end of the video, I'm going to rank each student from least to most favorite. That said, this is simply just my impressions of these characters from the limited info we know about them. Also, just because someone might be number 8 doesn't mean they are the worst, it just means that they don't personally appeal to me as the other students do higher up in this list. Anyway, that will do it for the intro. Let's get started. Edelgard von Hressfeld, the Imperial Princess of the Adrestian Empire, a mighty nation with a rich history, and its next emperor. Within the Black Eagles, she's the house leader. She has an extremely noble and dignified air to her and is able to calmly assess and act upon the situation and the people around her. Her personal skill is Imperial Bloodline, which boosts the user's experience gain by 1.2. One of her famous quotes thus far is during the trailer, saying, Such a brutal, irrational world we live in. Some believe the crests, tokens of the goddess's power, are necessary to maintain order. But they're wrong, teacher. The crests. Given that there's a time skip in this game, I'm not entirely sure this quote is even said during Gen 1 anymore. Speaking of time skip, Edelgard's axe in her time skip art actually doesn't seem to be a divine weapon of Saros. The crest within the weapon is from Marianne's house, which is located in Edmund from the Laster Alliance. Who knows how she gets her hands on that one? Maybe these sacred weapons aren't as exclusive as we think. Or maybe Edelgard has some Edmund ancestry that allows her to wield this axe. She can use the Saros sword so I guess this evens it out. Edelgard is a series first, a female lord wielding axes. The only other axe lord ever was Hector. I don't know why it took so long for another axe lord to exist, but here we are. Same goes for Dimitri, I guess, with lances. I love both of her designs for each generation. The pre-time skip design isn't as generic as Dimitri's and Claude's, and the post-time skip is baller as hell. I can't help but wonder if she'll have a surprisingly antagonistic role if you don't pick her from the beginning, but I guess time will tell soon. Personality-wise, I think her intrigue dropped a tad bit compared to Edgy Dimitri and Fancy Claude after the E3 trailer, but usually extremely noble and dignified sometimes translates to generic to some. Marth, anyone? Funnily enough, and I'm mostly joking here, it kind of feels like Edelgard became the young Dimitri in terms of popularity. But hey, I'm a huge Elliewood fan over here, so I think she's still going to be pretty great. Hubert Full name, Hubert von Besla, the strategist of the Black Eagles. He's the heir of the Marcus Besla's family and has served Edelgard from a young age. He'll use any means necessary to eliminate her obstacles. According to Edelgard, he's a cool-headed and rational person. Personal skill is strategist, which boosts Gambit might by 5. Hubert and Edelgard seem like a good match. His personal skill is going to want him around allies for that sweet, sweet Gambit strength increase. He's a proficient in reason and authority, and also bow. Kind of fitting that he is more of a distance fighter with that bow proficiency, and not being too good at wielding lances and axes. I am really curious to see more about Hubert's personality though. Cool headed and rational is fine, but I wonder how nice he is too. He's got that edgy charm to him, that's for sure. Fun fact, but Bestla is one of the few places from where the students come from that actually isn't on the map. But given that he's been Edelgard's servant for a long time, I wonder if Bestla is near Hrestvelg then. Dorothea, full name Dorothea Arnold, a female student who was a popular songstress in the imperial capital before she enrolled. She admires Manuela, who came from the same Middle Frank Opera Company, as her senior. Within the Black Eagles, she's the only commoner, which makes her feel uneasy, but she treats all of her similarly aged friends as equals. Her personal skill is songstress, at the start of each turn, restores adjacent allies HP by 10%. Dorothea is good at reason magic and sword, but not so great at flying in faith, yet she has a hidden talent in the latter, which kind of makes sense, since her personal skill can heal adjacent allies anyway. We don't know where she hails from as a commoner, but we do know that she went to the same school as Manuela, so maybe she is from somewhere near Hreskvelg as well. No Vaughns here, Dorothea is hopefully going to be able to become one of this game's dancers. That would be pretty cool for a unique promotion too. I wonder if some of her supports will have her partner harass her for being a commoner. Can't say much else about her. She certainly looks the most normal and down to earth with no fancy hair or glowy morphies here, and seems to me like she's a fan favorite. Ferdinand, full name Ferdinand von Aegir, the heir of Duke Aegir's family, a renowned family where the title of Imperial Chancellor is passed down. He's very proud of his own family because of its importance and influence. Extremely confident and hates to lose, 
Princess Edelgard's brilliance ignites a sense of rivalry within him. Personal skill. Confidence. Hit rate and avoid plus 15 when user's HP is full. Ferdinand seems like a great fighter, with assets in sword, axe, lance, and cavalry. I'm not super sold on this personality just yet, because I feel like it's pretty common for Fire Emblem, but I like his competitive edge. You see him also fighting Sylvain at the academy, so I wonder if we'll get a rivalry going on there with each cavalier. Bernadetta. Full name, Bernadetta von Varley, the only daughter of Count Varley's family. She's abnormally shy, and while she's far from home, her one safe haven is in her room in the dormitory. Except for during lectures, she tends to confine herself to her room, devoting herself to her pastimes. Personal skill, paranoia. If user's HP isn't full, attack plus five. Bernadetta isn't a good close combat unit as she has flaws in sword, axe, and fighting, but she does have assets in lance and bow. Interestingly, she also has an asset in armor. Uh, bow armor? What are we, Shadow Dragon? I like her personal skill because if you make her a knight or something, you're stacking up her defense to be able to take hits, so you'll have a sustainable plus five attack. Go poke the enemy with that pointy stick. She is a favorite of mine for the Black Eagles. I can just imagine her pulling her hoodie up and pulling the strings. Is she best girl material? We'll have to see. Casper. Full name Casper von Berglies, the second son of Count Berglies' family. Since he's not in line to succeed his family, he decided to train at the Officer's Academy to become a successful martial artist. His quick temper is his only flaw. Otherwise, he has a keen sense of justice that despises lies and injustice, and is an honest and straightforward guy. Personal skill, Quarreler. Adjacent foes receive minus 10 avoid during combat. His personal skill is a half as good heart seeker, but it will be useful as a close combat specialist. He has assets in axe and presumably fighting as well. I'll be honest, he actually is one of my favorites. He seems to have a unique skill set and is the poster boy for gauntlets. Seems like a good natured fellow with a cool design. I might recruit him to the Blue Lions if I can. Petra. Full name Petra McNary, the granddaughter of the King of the Bridget Isles a group of islands located west of Fodland's shores. Because Brigid is a vassal of the Empire, as a symbol of loyalty, she was sent from her homeland to study abroad at the Officer's Academy. She's unaccustomed to the spoken language of Fodland, but she is trying her best to learn. Personal, Hunter's Law. When a foe has less than 50% HP, critical rate plus 20. That is a hardcore personal skill. She also has assets in sword, axe, and flying, and definitely comes off as the high crit Myrmidon of the group and that personal skill is just icing on the cake. Doesn't seem like Petra has a minor crest in anything, which checks out to me since she's from Bridget, way west of Fodlin. As far as uniforms go, she has a pretty cool one, and has a standout character design as well. She's giving off some Lin energy with her personality too, so maybe she's gonna go through some homesickness arc. I'm joking, hopefully not. Linhart, full name Linhart von Hevering, the heir of Count Hevering's family. He prefers freedom over restriction. One could also call him incredibly lazy, as despite his brilliant mind, he's always sleepy. However, he has a keen interest in crest research, to the point that he'll forget to eat or sleep. Although he and Casper have very different tastes and personalities, they somehow get along. Personal skill is doze off. If a unit waits without acting, restores 10% HP. He's got assets in reason and faith, and flaws in acts and fighting. Keep him away from the front lines and let the man take a nap. I like his personal skill because he'll probably be camping behind waiting to chip away at enemies or to finish them off. Also a self-healing healer is never a bad idea either. I'm getting some irk vibes too with him not eating or sleeping, but hopefully his confidence issues don't go as deep as his. Now for my first impression rankings. Once again keep in mind this is just based off my opinion and my impressions from the limited information we do get from the official sources, so here are my top 8 Black Eagles students. Number 8, Ferdinand. This personality usually just doesn't do it for me. He seems like he's going to be an amazing unit though. Maybe the best paladin in the game. Number 7, Petra. She's definitely a unique looking character, but that just about does it for me. I know she's been an early fan favorite, but the other personalities and designs just appeal to me more. Number 6, Dorothea. I dig the origins and I'm really curious to see how far her worry over her status goes in her supports, but... Her hat isn't really doing it for me. Sorry, Mangs. Number 5, Bernadetta. I'm a fan of her design, personality, and personal skill. I wonder if she will open up more after the time skip. I'm rooting for you, girl. Number 4, Hubert. Honestly, I think his design is pretty memorable. 
It feels pretty inspired by Effidel, but I just hope he isn't as incompetent as that guy. Really curious to read his supports, and hopefully he isn't totally evil if you don't pick the Black Eagles. I also like how his personal skill ties into one of the new mechanics of this game as well. Number 3, Linhart. Honestly, thought I wouldn't like him as much as I do now. Maybe he'll be a student that I recruit to my house. I actually kinda love this guy. I mean, aside from the Reinhardt slash Lin memes, I like the added bit about Casper too. Because they actually do seem like opposites. One is super energetic and scrappy, and the other is lethargic and wants to help from a distance. It's 1.36am on a Saturday, I didn't eat dinner, and I'm not kidding, I took three naps today, which I think is a personal best for me. Is Linhart my spirit animal? Number 2, Edelgard. It's kind of hard to decide whether she should just be number one by default since she is the main lord and has a lot going for her in that way, but if I assess these impressions by Gen 1 standards alone, which I think is the most fair, then I feel like this list will be more interesting. Again, her design is super appealing compared to the other two, and her Axe Lord status is just the second in the series. Not that it matters too much for characterization, but to me it definitely helps her uniqueness. Fun fact, Black Eagles was my second house choice behind Blue Lions, mainly because Edelgard left a good impression off the bat. Number 1, Casper. That means that Casper is actually the Black Eagle student that I'm the biggest fan of so far. He's a scrappy guy with a cool design and a bright personality. I like how he seems to be the shortest but toughest guy in the house so far. For such a positive guy, I want to see how he acts when you push his buttons. How does he balance being a justice seeker but also having a quick fuse? I find it an interesting dynamic. I heard he has a sweet glow up in the next gen too. Assets to axes and probably fighting makes for the aggressive infantry fighter that I'm into as well. Again, this is just my impression. No character seems bad to me, and each student seems like they're oozing with personality and aren't relying on one-off tropes or gimmicks. And that will do it for me today, folks. If you had to make an impressions list for the 8 Black Eagle students, what would it look like? If you like this video, please leave a like and comment, and subscribe if this is your first video of mine too. I also have a Patreon page that's linked down below. Deuces.